So what if I told you I could make it all the way down to that rock over there without using a glider, without using a pal? You would think I would be, I would be insane, right? Well, watch this. <laughs> yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, you can T-pose. I'm still not going to make it to the rock, but you can T-pose glide in Pal World. How can you do this? Well, I'll show you. So what you want to do is build this, the Gale Claw Glove. You get this at like 34, 23. You get this at 23. It's the best glider in the game. You don't have to do it with this, by the way. All you need is a glider. But if you want the best glider in the game to do the best T-posing in the game, you're going to want this. Now, you want Gale Claw in your party for this. So notice how the glider is the heat-resistant heat armor instead of a glider for me. Well, what I did was, instead of this, I'm going to do it with the shield because I don't want to mess up my glitch. You take one of these inventory slots, click it, and then drag something else that can go there. For example, the cloth armor. My shield for the cloth armor. Oh, now I have three things of armor on. I did that with the glider. So that's two in one glitch. Now you can stack armor. For example, I could put this cloth armor on my head. Now I'm bald. Or in this case, you basically freeze your glider in place. So you're not using a glider. You don't have one equipped. But since you last had the Gale Claw gloves, there you go. You are now super speedy T-posing boy. You can take Gale Claw out of your party. It won't go away. And now you can T-pose anywhere and even aim and, you know, shoot your grappling hook or whatever. So that's that's the glitch. It's a two-in-one combo glitch, basically. Now you can stack armor. Cooled resistant and hot resistant armor at the same time, as well as doing the funny T-pose. I'm Dakosity Live. Check out my other funny videos. You're welcome. Goodbye. <laughs>